Hello everyone, Scene Gamer here with a video concerning Munchables. I started this let's play as um, Kid Gamer, but I had my 13th birthday and I'm now Scene Gamer. Um, the torch was handed down to my little brother. Anyways, this is just going to be about Munchables, the series that I've done. As you can see, I've seen most of everything. Lots and lots of things. Those are level 100. But I have also not seen a lot of the enemies, such as the other stuff. But I'm going to show you, I think, my closet. Yeah, you can see that metal character, that's what you unlock. This is brought, also brought to you by Family Family Gaming, Future Glimpses Moon Murder. Um, there we go. I'm going to show you guys one of the um, extra levels. I forgot they're called more. I'll tell us in a sec. Um... Which one do I go to? I think level one? Yeah, level one. I go to reverse mirror mode. Okay. We thought about maybe going to this as in mirror mode, but we decided against it due to the okay ratings of Munchable. Um, this is also a time, that's why it's different. As you can see, I've memorized this level pretty much. It's a really fun game. Too bad it never see the sequel on the Wii U. The Wii U has became an utter failure for third party games rather than just it has less third party games than it does first party because there's not been anything much other than some Mario, there's Super Smash, Mario Kart. There's not really much else to do on the Wii U for families. And Splatoon was a huge disappointment, so not much to do. So we go back to the Wii to play games. Such as Munchables. And as you can see, I've developed the perfect strategy for Munchables. Just keep going in, in a circle, click, pressing A till I eat everything. And I think B to roll around and knock people down. Um, this is a. As you can see, this is. The enemies just kind of come out from the ground. To be fair, they are funguses, so... Oh, what's this? Wii U is the, um, app dumping ground. That's something that Final Fantasy Gamers noticed. Um, they've... All they've been doing is porting, like, apps. And then the, the 3DS has became a breeding ground for in-app purchases and free games, such as Pokemon Rumble World and Pokemon Shuffle. And the Wii U has so many things that... Or became once for apps at least things like um pure solar i believe wasn't it pure solar i think yeah no some of it's some other rpg alpha day genesis that's what it was it was originally an app and it got ported to the wii u and this is why we say the wii is an app dumping ground they keep just porting apps wii U doesn't really have much original content or sequels to good family games like Munchables that teach you how that you're supposed to eat vegetables and the entire game is you eating evil vegetables to rid the world of the Taba Taba men or something and the more you eat the more you level up we have they do have pretty, some pretty crummy indie games uh, what would be an example? Oh, I know. The letter. The letter. Oh, was that one? Uh, Stoneshire. The Minecraft clone. Was creative mode with survival physics? Just no. Lock drop you. Lock drop you. I believe. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear Paul over there, editor in chief. He said it kind of looked like a third grader drew it. So something way better than what I drew when I was in third grade. I, I... Yeah, I had very, very crooked rocks. At least they used a ruler. Uh, I'm showing you the jewelry. Soon this video will be over. I'm showing you all like the different things. Um, one of these in here, we had a mess up with the video. Can't remember which one it was. One of the episodes we had a mess up and had to scrap the episode. I actually did the same episode over again. And 
This has been Fantasy Family Gaming. Goodbye. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. Goodbye.